We're here running our third soldier evaluation with the fuel cell vehicle here to kind of get that operational feedback, try to find out and investigate the operational value and impacts that a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle has for our soldiers and our troops. We were doing some export power testing uh, where the vehicle here, one of the capabilities that we're very interested in the Army is that it exports a lot of power. So this vehicle acts as a mobile generator. It produces 25 to 50 kilowatts peak of export power. So that allowed us to power a Humvee Camo vehicle or C2 vehicle um, and all of their ancillary equipment. Um, typically they would have a onboard generator or a tow behind generator, whereas this vehicle acts as the generator. We've had a few days now of soldiers evaluating this vehicle, starting with some familiarization drives as well as some nighttime operations uh, where they're actually using night vision goggles and, and, and driving the vehicle without any uh, visible lights on. This vehicle was driven for just shy of nine hours continuously and it only consumed half a tank of fuel. The suspension really gives you an opportunity to hit um, different brakes, brakes in mother nature that, that that's what's thrown at us and flawlessly. It's, it's instantaneous torque and instantaneous torque and that's that's such such a huge advantage because I believe the zero through 30 you, it, it's quick fast and in a hurry and that's really ideal for for our convoy operations you know you're you're not going to be driving 60 miles per hour so that zero to 60 speeds not necessarily you, you don't really need that that zero to 30 zero to 30 that is crucial because you go to a complete stop get on the throttle boom you're there you're at 30 miles per hour you know just like that that's that's a huge asset yesterday we actually had it parked about 10 15 meters away i was up on this hill and we had a pr like a pretty soft breeze i couldn't even hear the vehicle and it was actively running You can stand next to this vehicle, and I've, I've, I've been in uh, dorm rooms where the aquarium is, is more like seriously louder than, than this vehicle. We got within 50 meters, 30 to 50 meters of the objective without being noticed, um, and we got, our, we got our recon element so close because of that that they actually hit to the T what assaulting element there was, meaning that there was, they said there was a platoon sized element inside the compound, there was 25 soldiers inside that compound, that later that was confirmed exactly. So that spot on in intelligence and all our reconnaissance that we gave to the assaulting, assaulting element really helped in um, showcase for their mission. Fog lights, the IR fog lights were a game changer and they opened up the whole whole battlefield for us and it, it made, made driving a piece of cake. This type of te technology is obviously revolutionary and it is, it's, going to, it's going to set the standard for, for military operations to come.